Natural disasters. What do you mean by a natural disaster? Natural disasters are the disasters which are caused by natural forces. Natural disaster usually cause great damage to life and property. It is a major adverse event resulting from natural processes of the earth. Some examples include flood, tornadoes, volcanic eruption, earthquake, tsunami, storm and other geological processes. In this video, we are going to learn and understand about some of the natural disasters like tsunami, cyclone, earthquake, drought, volcanic eruption and flood. Starting with earthquakes. Sometimes there are sudden movement under the surface of the earth which cause strong vibrations and tremor on the surface of the earth. These tremors are known as earthquakes. The earth experiences millions of earthquakes every year. Most of them are minor which we hardly feel whereas some are major which result in loss of human and animal lives collapsing of buildings, roads and bridges. The place of origin of an earthquake is called focus. The point directly above the focus on the surface of the earth is called epicenter. The effect of an earthquake is maximum near the epicenter. Next is tsunami. Tsunami is also called a tidal wave. It is a series of waves of gigantic size that are created when water in an ocean is rapidly displaced. A tsunami can be caused by underwater volcanic eruption or an undersea earthquake. The wave destroys everything in its path. The effects of tsunami are devastating. Next is Flood. Floods destroy crops, damage its property and drown people and animals. During and after flood, there is acute shortage of drinking water, food and medical aid. Lack of safe drinking water and unhygienic conditions lead to many diseases like cholera, jaundice and diarrhea. It breaks out and causes death. A flood occurs when the amount of water in a river exceeds its capacity to carry water. Floods are generally caused by heavy rains. Sometimes these are also caused by collapse of dam built across a river, sudden melting of glaciers or blocking the river channels by landslide etc. Next is volcanic eruption. The interior of the earth contains molten rocks known as magma. In some places, magma finds a vent through the crust of the earth and comes out to the surface. This is called a volcanic eruption. The molten magma which flows out through the vent is called lava. Flowing lava is very hot and destroys everything in its path. After the lava has cooled, it often forms a cone-shaped hill at the site of the volcanic eruption. The hill has a bowel-shaped opening at the top called the crater. Next is Drought. The condition of extreme shortage of water for agriculture and domestic use is called drought. When rainfall is delayed or scarce, it leads to drought, which causes scarcity of food as well. 
The next natural disaster we are going to discuss is cyclone. A cyclone is a violent storm. It consists of rotating winds which whirl at high speed. Cyclones are always accompanied by very heavy showers. They uproot and destroy everything that comes along their ways. I hope you all understood about the different natural disasters and the cause of the same. Thank you for learning with us. For more educational videos, keep watching Kids Study Zone.